Hello, welcome to a new video of the Work With Plus course. In this and the next videos, we will start working with the transaction form. Until now, we always worked from the default list tab, but from now on we are going to work in the transaction tab. When applying the pattern, we will see in the rules that an error rule has been added to validate this. And here we can see the rules that validate what we have done, now we want the person favorite music band attribute to be required only when the person home address required attribute is true. For this, we have to go to the is required extra condition property. We click on person favorite music band and we go down so that it is is required in true and is required extra condition. And here we put the condition we want. In the is required extra condition property, we can put any property that Genexus can interpret. In this case, we are going to put person home address required is equal to true. And now our person favorite music band attribute will be required. Only when person home address required is checked. Let's run the application to see at runtime. We will try to generate an empty record. We go down and click on the confirm button. It immediately tells us that we must fill out the person first name and person last name attributes since they are required. And if we also want to click on the person home address required check, it will appear that we must select the person favorite music band attribute, which is also required. This happens because we have configured the parameter to be required with a condition. That is why we get this error, that when this attribute is set to true, we must place the music band attribute before it. And this is how the required attributes work. Work with Plus also provides setting attributes like read only from the instance. To do this, we have the now accept property that we can place in all attributes. For example, Let's put in the person create date attribute. We click on the attribute and we must look for the no accept property. Here we find the no accept property and set it to true. This attribute will be loaded later using a rule. And here we can see that the attribute we have left is read only. We can also condition an attribute based on a condition. For that, we have the visible condition. This allows us to give a condition that has to be met for this attribute to be seen or not. For this, we are going to use the person favorite music band attribute. This should only be seen if the person has favorite music band attribute is true. In this case, we will place the following statement in the visible condition condition. We need to go to the visible condition property and add our condition Person has favorite music band equals to true. Now we will run our application to see the changes we have made. Now we can also see that the create date attribute is not editable. We also see that the person favorite music band attribute is not visible. But if we click on the has favorite music band check, it becomes visible. So far, we have seen that the types of controls that appear on the screen are edit or checkbox. But if we want to change this type of control, how can we do it? For this, all attributes have the control info property. By default, it is based on, which indicates that the attribute will have a control type that is defined in the transaction structure. If we set this to custom, we can select the control type that we have available. Particularly, we are going to select the bank ID attribute and we are going to use the extended combo, which is a work with plus control that provides several functionalities, such as multiple selection, different layouts for each item in the combo, dynamic loading, categorizing, among others. Let's set the control info to custom. Then the control type in develop combo. Here, and we see more properties being deployed. This is done so that you can indicate the behavior of this combo. We can indicate the way to load the combo, which can be from attributes, a data provider, user code, or fixed values. 
We can choose the style we want, but in this case we are going to choose title and image. Here we have title and image. And there we have chosen the style of our combo in the item value. In this case, we are going to choose bank ID. Click on the attribute and we are left with the value of the item. In item description, we are going to choose bank name and in item description too, we are going to choose bank logo so that the logo can be seen next to the name We will leave the other properties as they are. Let's run the application and try to create a bank account. We will see that the bank selection control is now a quite attractive combo with all the banks and their respective logos. Now we will create a bank account. We can see that here we have our control. We click on it and we can see the name of the bank with its respective logo. We invite you to subscribe to our channels so that you are always up to date of our upcoming videos. See you there!